So what we have here is an Ag Leader Integra display. This display is one of many displays in the market that can support virtual terminal. Um, the Ag Leader Versa also supports virtual terminal but requires an unlock. Uh, anyways, in the Integra, to set up virtual terminal, if it's not already set up, you'll notice that you have your bottom bar. There's no icon or tab that displays VT for virtual terminal. It has not been enabled. The way to enable it is you select the wrench button from the main screen. Pick your display settings, and from your display settings, you'll see ISO bus settings. You select this, you'll notice the top checkbox says Enable Virtual Terminal. Go ahead and select that. In addition, if you're using a Rykart system with the Ag Leader Integra and you have no other speed sources available, you can actually enable broadcasting GPS speed from the Integra. So, for example, if the Ag Leader is doing yield monitoring, has GPS information, and the Rykart's doing just row guidance, for example you could then pull the GPS speed from the Integra. Go ahead and press the OK button and exit out to the main screen. You'll notice now you have a VT tab. If I select VT, you'll see a blank screen. If we have object pools showing up, you'll have additional tabs down here. So, for example, let's say we have a Rykart system and a smart implement that has virtual terminal. You'll have two different tabs for the two different components, two different controllers. And you can select between the two from the VT tab. The wrench button in the bottom left corner of the VT tab area will pull up your virtual terminal settings. So if you have a stored object pool that you want to clear out from the system, you select clear virtual terminal, select OK, it'll delete any stored object pools. The first time you load up a Rykart system or any other object pool for that matter, it will upload to the display. This may take anywhere from 30 seconds to several minutes depending on the size of the object pool. I'm going to go ahead and power on our system. You'll hear our controller actually click on, and at that point it will begin to load above the wrench. And there you'll see it start to load. You'll notice now that there is a Rykart object pool. The way you'll know it's a Rykart system is you'll see a box. Uh, typically it's either going to be white, red, or green depending on the status of our system with a picture of a steering wheel with three orange dots. That's our icon. Um, some VT displays will actually say PSR, which is the acronym for our system. In case you're curious, PSR stands for Pilot System Rykart. Anyways, when the system boots up, you will get our safety disclaimer page. Go ahead and press the OK button. 